Hey, what's going on? My name is Psyonix, and welcome to part three of three of the post commentary of my run that occurred on 19 July 2022, which was world record. Uh, we have just defeated the lunatic cultist, which prompted the pillars to spawn. So now I got to deal with pillars with uh my repeater and of course the stinger that i got from golem first i want to go for vortex if i can luckily it's in a convenient spot just right to the right of spawn in the crimson uh because i want to get the the uh phantasm bow Here I kind of dig myself a little, I guess, dugout uh, with one, uh, with a one block wide gap, so I could just shoot the enemies from above. Luckily, none of these pillar enemies go through walls, so that's why this works. Um, however, you need to have you know that uh, block exposed so that. For that space so that you can actually shoot the enemies and that they don't spawn inside of your box. Uh, this area is kind of kind of weird. There's a lot of places where the enemies can get stuck so the spawn rates will reduce. So in the future you want to make sure when you build your little dugout area make sure that there's no or barely any surrounding caves or anywhere that where the enemies could get stuck like here. Thankfully, I didn't lose so much time, but if I was in a in a worse position, uh, I could have lost a lot more time because it would have been a lot slower. I believe it's around 75 enemies in classic mode in order no. I think it's 100 enemies uh, in order to disable the pillar shield. And here, this is why you need unholy arrows, so you could just, like, shoot right through the enemies, um, and deal damage to the pillar. While also, I, I don't know if it does actually double hit, but you, you, you could, like, make the arrow come, come down straight, and potentially do another hit on the pillar. But yeah, um, be able to craft a phantasm. Definitely a significant upgrade. And now I want to go for Stardust because I want the Dragon Summon. The Stardust Dragon. Um, I'm going to have to deal with some Nebula enemies uh, as a cross. Unfortunately, Stardust is not in an ideal position. And I do not have that much movement to help me out here. But, uh, yeah. So I forget how much the Stardust Dragon deals, but it's a lot. Um, and you can increase this DPS by increasing your max number of minions, uh, which will in turn increase the length of the dragon. Uh, and you could do this by uh getting a summoning table from the dungeon if you happen to stumble across one and um crafting a, a bee chest plate from the queen bee if you happen to not get full hollow um those will help you deal more dps with the dragon now here i kind of just want to uh, mainly be attacking star cells because what they'll do is they'll multiply after you kill them um and so i could just keep hitting them they're probably the easiest enemies to deal with out of the entirety of the pillars event um because you could just kind of shoot them off now you don't want to be attacking the little I guess infant cells here because they will not uh, deal damage to the shield once you kill them. So you got to wait for them to mature. 
Now, once I see that I killed the hundredth stardust or star cell, uh, that's usually a good indicator that it's time to go destroy the pillar. Uh, but here I'm just constantly checking on the the pillar shield. Um, seeing when it's time to go. While also taking care to uh, avoid getting hit here. So yeah, you see Hunter Star Cell and the pillars down. It's definitely a little bit earlier than that, but... 100 star cells, definitely a good sign that it's time to go. Time to go destroy it. Phantasm uh, doing wonders for the DPS here. So, very good. Ancient Manipulator, don't forget to pick that up. Uh, make sure your inventory is clear before the cultist fight so you actually pick it up. Uh, and now we're going for solar, which is where we're going to get melee weapons from. This is also where the uh, junction boxes come in, because what I could what I could do is place them in mid air, and uh, and they count as an object, which means I could I could place platforms on them. So I'm effectively placing platforms out of midair, um, and that's convenient because I don't have to use rope and build up and you know have it be a pain. Um, they're they're most effective with with featherfall because you could just float your way up like so, and uh, yeah. When you float up, you want to make sure there's no ground that's exposed that could potentially spawn enemies while you're making this kind of arena. Now, I'm setting up the old setup for solar, where you make a wall with a two-block wide gap, uh, as well as give giving them space to spawn to the left here. And you just shoot through the hole without... Uh, the enemies being able to get to you besides the ones that go through walls um i guess this is sort of a safe strat but what we do now is just build a platform like a platform not not full blocks um so that the selenians actually go down which is like the spinning enemies that reflect they just kind of uh, fall off the platform while the dragon just pursues them. Um, I think there's a floating island to the top left, so that might be a reason why this is going a little bit slower than I would have wanted. Um, so you see here, I'm just like seeing if I can build more, give them more area to spawn so that, you know, more blocks are off screen. I meant to do the the newer setup, but uh, I kind of forgot, uh, probably because of nerves. But this probably could have been a lot faster. Yeah, I would have liked to have pillar done like right about now. And it's only half health, um, the shield. Kind of just have to endure it at this point. Nothing you could really do. I already have this set up here and the floating islands in the way. If I try to get rid of it, I'm just going to get swarmed. Uh, not too big of a deal. TBH. Okay, and then here I just kind of make a break for it. Destroy the pillar uh, as fast as possible 
without dying, of course. Dying is a big time loss, as we all know. And here I collect the fragments. And I craft a daybreak, which is um, kind of a throwy spear. Throwing, throwing spear. I said throwy spear, like it was some actual term, but yeah. Uh, if you happen to get enough for a solar eruption, definitely do it. Um, okay, so now is the final pillar nebula probably the most annoying in my opinion because of the uh uh well okay that that yeah that was an unfortunate death i lost my well uh my buff my buffs specifically my uh, exquisitely stuff but the nebula floaters the the brain guys with the eyes that shoot the lasers those enemies are very annoying so you want to kill them as fast as possible whenever they're on screen. Unfortunately, I do not have a Featherfall, so getting up here is kind of annoying. Um, I also have not much health here. But what you want to do, you kind of like want to have a setup here where there's a spawn platform below and you're just shooting downwards. Uh, luckily, the Nebula spawned Nebula Pillar spawned near my destroyer uh, setup. So I was able to just substitute that and use the spawn platform to kill the enemies. So that, that made it go by faster. If you find that the uh, Nebula setup takes too long, then you could just like probably just YOLO the pillar and just like I guess uh, I guess just just go in and start shooting, shooting it until they die. And then here, this is also very unfortunate. I do take another death. I wanted to, yeah, I put a little sad face. I just wanted to get the pillar down as fast as possible. I was, you know, making a break for it, I guess, or however you're supposed to say. Um, yeah, pretty annoying. Probably could have gotten a, a 124 if I didn't have those two deaths. But, uh, yeah, that's the final pillar down. And what comes next is, um, a very crucial moment. The end of the run. Okay, so I'm selling a bunch of stuff here. I need to make sure I have enough money for the fight because I'm going to be constantly healing with Nurse. Uh, additionally, since I'm going to be using melee, um, I want to have a melee setup going. So a uh, sharpening station helps, more armor piercing. Um, as I mentioned in part one, probably, a sake uh, does additional melee damage, 10%. Uh, so that would have been nice. Additionally, you could craft ale. Um, that also works. That also gives you the tipsy buff. Um, but I was not thinking of that at this time. And of course, your standard well-fed buffs are good. Tier 3, Tier 2. So I started off here by shooting my Phantasm before the fights even started. So I could get maximum DPS from it. And then after I click to heal, I switch to my Daybreak. Um, Dragon helping out with the DPS. I kind of just evenly distribute the damage across these three hit points. Um, if you happen to notice, I'm not keeping the Nurse menu open. And the reason for that is while the menu is open, she cannot actually heal herself. And it will be pretty nasty if she were to die during this fight um as you can see a lot of my npcs are dying um so she could get killed pretty quickly herself if i keep the menu open but yeah here i'm just um if you don't have a cobalt shield it's best to stay hooked like that 
to the ground so you don't bounce around. And then make sure you have the uh, recall on your hotbar so you can just quickly recall down once the top eye is destroyed. And then this is where you would use the solar eruption to just destroy the core quickly as possible. Daybreak still uh, is a good substitute, not as fast, or I don't know, it's very comparable. Uh, taking care to heal, always keeping an eye on my health. And there we have it. It's it's that simple, folks. Just make sure you you save your money and you know things like that. Um. Yeah. Not really much else to talk about. If you if you have any you know further questions, uh, feel free to DM me on. Um, let me pause this. Feel free to DM me on Discord. Uh, I believe my tag is Psionix, P S I O N Y X. Uh, hashtag eight five seven two. I'll put it on screen. Um, or just leave a comment below. Uh, also consider joining the Terraria speedrunners. Uh, Discord. Uh, if you're interested in speedrunning yourself. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much all I got. So, if you've watched all the other two parts, uh, you're a real one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of things to say, but I don't think there's really much else, so uh, yeah, I mean if, you, if you've if you watched all three also, let me know how I did um, kind of a first for me doing this but uh, yeah and with that uh, I'll leave you be, so thanks a lot and have a good one